Hey guys! So today we're talking about my September favorites. Um, these are the products that I've been linking all month long and they pretty much needed to be two things to me. They needed to be quick and they needed to be easy. I'm going to show you what my favorite products were that I have been pretty much killing all month long. So let's get started! Just kidding. Uh, don't mind my sniffliness, by the way. Um, kind of down with the cold right now, a little under the weather, so please excuse my nasaliness. Don't make fun of me. Let's get started. <laughs> so I actually did not like this product when I first bought it, mainly because the packaging is painful. Painful! That's just because I didn't know how to use it at the time. Um, and I'll explain in a second, but this is the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Now, this is a sprayable mist that should prime your face. However, e.l.f., you're trying to kill someone here with this, okay? This literally shoots, like, a bullet out of it. It has the most, uh, like, little pin needle of water coming out straight onto your face, and it it's... When you get this in your eye and spray your eye accidentally, you feel like you're blind for like a good couple of minutes. It is not fun, Elf. You better change the spray on this because it's not fun. What I realize what I should do with this is use it with a brush. I use the Elf powder brush. It's just a flat top like kabuki brush. And what I do with it, I'll just take it and then I'll smish all the bristles together just like so. And then I'll take a couple of spritz of this right on top of it. And this way the product just pretty much sits right on top instead of leaking in because it is it is like a very watery consistency. And then I'll just take this and I'll put it all over my face. And it's actually a very nice primer. It stays very hydrating on your face and it gives you that little tackiness that you need in order for your foundation to stick very well. So the actual product in here is very nice and I do really like the product. The packaging though, like, I, I, I can live without it. Now since school started up, um, my dark circles have been living, living to their fullest potential. In order to counteract their living to their fullest potential, um, I've been using a salmon concealer underneath my eyes, and this is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector, and this is in the color medium. Now, I love this because this is a darker peachy, uh, concealer. A lot of them are just super light peach to the point where someone of, like, a tan complexion would just put it on and it just look white on them. This one actually looks peach on the skin, and it does counteract the dark circle. So I highly recommend this if you are of a tanner skin tone. Um, this works super, super well. The foundation that I've been using all September long is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Um, I had picked this up the beginning of September, end of August time. So I've actually been using this all month, and it has been working very well, except... It's a little dark now, if you can't tell, so <laughs> we might have to exchange her for another time of the year. It's super nice, has a pump on it, um, it's just your good, natural, medium co coverage um, foundation that is just a simple, easy, no-brainer, that's all I gotta say, it's, it works. <laughs> Now I got this product off of Hope Look. Um, Lorac goes on there a good amount of times, and the last time I looked, they did still have this on there. But I'm like, I hope the next time they do, um, they also have it on there. Because if not, I feel bad talking about it. This is the Lorac Take Me to Tantigo Bronzer Palette, and it comes with four shades. I just kind of go like this, and then go like that all over my face. It's just a good, simple, easy way to get some color back into your face. I mainly use this to bronze. I don't contour on a daily basis, but in order to just put some uh, color and depth onto your skin, this is a perfect way to do that. And you have the option of whether or not you wanna use all the mattes, all the shimmers, mix them all together like I do. It looks great on the skin. I've had this blush probably all summer long and I just totally forgot about it. 
which I don't know how I did because she's not that cheap. This is the Becca Luminous Blush in the color Tiger Lily. It's gonna look super orange. Like, that looks like an orange blush on camera. That's actually the gold uh, reflex that are in this product. I would say it's more of a peachy color with a lot of golden shimmer into it. Um, it just looks super natural on my skin if I ever needed something that just gave a nice little flush to my skin. This is what I've been reaching for all September long. And if those two products wasn't uh, glowy enough for you, the highlighter I've been using is the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter and this is in the color Twilight. It looks like this. This is actually, I think, their darkest color that they have. So if you feel like this looks a little dark for you, they do have three other shades that are lighter. Just a simple, easy, like, natural glow. If that's what you wanted, this is what you go for. Just gives a nice glow to your cheeks, and that's all I was looking for. Now, this product has pretty much saved me at least 10 minutes every morning. Um, because I don't have to completely fill in my eyebrows using this. This is the L'Oreal, oh uh, god, I have no idea. L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. The, the words are literally, they're, they're like not there anymore. The color I have it in is in medium to dark and it fills in your eyebrows so nicely. All I do is really kind of outline my eyebrows and then fill in the tails a little bit and then I'll use this and kind of bring it through and it'll pretty much fill in the rest of it for you. So if you're looking for something super easy because you spent way too much time on your eyebrows, this is the way to go. Now these two products are probably the things that I am the most excited to talk about because not only have they saved me a ton of time in terms of my eye makeup, they're such amazing quality for the price that you're getting these at. These are the e.l.f. smudge pots. I've been pretty much killing um, these two colors. I have Got A Glow, which is like a light champagne -y gold. And then the other color I have is in Brownie Points, and this is more of like a chocolatey color. Definitely a good color to have for the fall time. I just take Brownie Points, and I'll either take a synthetic brush or just my finger and put it all over my lid. And then I'll go in with Got A Glow, and I'll just take a little bit and put it right in the center of the lid just to give a little more definition and then whatever's left I'll put in my inner corners. I've probably had these for about a year and the most amazing thing is that they don't show a single single sign of drying out of any sorts like these are still just as creamy as the day I got them and for t I think they're like two bucks or something these are truly the best um, creamy eyeshadows that I have come across. They come in a ton of colors. These are just two of them. I have a couple more somewhere. Um, but if you're just looking for something super easy to just throw on your eyes and blend out, they stay all day, they do not budge, I would highly recommend these. These are super affordable and super good quality for what you get. This is probably going to be a yearly favorite because this mascara has blown me away. It's by Essence and it's the Lash Princess Mascara. They have a pink tube, but I like the green tube. It's the False Lash Effect Mascara. This gives my lashes length and volume like no other. This is so good and I think it's only like $4. Um, I got mine at Ulta. It's so inexpensive, but for something so inexpensive, it's so good. This has definitely become one of my staples and one of my favorites for that like faux lash look without having to actually put false lashes on. So I love this mascara. And the lip combo that I've been pretty much rocking all month long as well as probably throughout the periods of throughout the year has been these two right here. This is the Ulta Automatic Lip Liner and this is in the color. This is in the color Flesh and it's just your basic nude lip liner. And on top of that, I go in with this NYX, they have like their round lipsticks um, and this is in the color Perfect Parfait and if you can tell, I've been killing this as well. 
it's just the perfect nude for me. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's not too pink, it's not too nude. It's just the perfect your lips but better for my lips. But yes, I've been loving, I've been loving this lipstick. And that is my September favorites. I hope you liked all the products that I talked about today. If you have any suggestions for any new products for me to try out throughout the month of October, not August, October, <laughs> just let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.